and welcome to the good old days gaming channel. My name is Spikey and we're going to be playing or doing or recording I should say let's play Mirror's Edge. So we're going to do this through each of the uh, levels just so you can see what you can do in the game and everything like that. Um, I have got most of the yellow packages as I remember because this game doesn't seem to want to forget those but um, we're just going to go through the story mode so you can get an idea and a feel of the game. Alright, so we'll do this on normal difficulty. I haven't unlocked the hard one yet, so I need to play this through normal um, to get the hard mode unlock. So you've got to complete the story mode on any other difficulty. Hard difficulty disables runner vision and makes combat much tougher. So we'll do it normal. Once the city used to pulse with energy, dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge, between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Train of time, Face. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty, so get to her and just go with the flow, okay? Alright, so as you can see there, the controls at the bottom are displayed in uh, Xbox 360 controller. But uh, I'm using mouse and keyboard, I just have my Xbox 360 controller plugged in and it recognizes it. Unfortunately it does not give me the option to change it to uh, keyboard, So, but I can still use my keyboard to play the game and everything like that. My Xbox 360 controller does work, I'm just using it right now to move the uh, camera movement as you can see. And this is my mouse movement. Controller movement, mouse movement. Okay, so jump, crouch, and tab. There we go, so this because you're learning the basic movements, the momentum. Okay, so, back. Alright, let's start. So, running is uh, always the key in this game, of course, as it is a freestyle running game, sort of. And finding the flow Get after of where it paths lead you to. Okay, let's uh, have a talk with this sexy woman. Hi Faith, welcome back. We'll be seeing you so soon. Hmm, I don't recall ever meeting her. <laughs> I don't know why she's uh, welcoming me back for. Okay, let's follow her. Okay, so obviously um, you have to decide what you want, what sort of action you want to do amongst uh, every little bit that you uh, meet up to. So obviously we have to go across this pole, keeping your, uh, your your balance. I gotta say the animations and stuff in this game for the uh, AI and stuff is really well done. I mean. It looks so realistic. So he has done a really good job on that. Oops. I was meant to uh, grab onto that. Ugh. <sighs> 
I love how clean everything is in this city. I mean, someone must have spent a very long time uh, washing these walls. I mean, it is a little bit too clean, to be honest, but, you know, not complaining. Everything's just so, you know, so well done in this game. All the uh, buildings and stuff are very immaculate, very uh, spot on. You can't start to notice though that some textures are reused though in the uh, in the game. Obviously, they would uh, try and keep that to a minimum if possible, but uh, very difficult. In a sort of game like this, I almost missed that there, that was close. Run, jump, crouch at the same time. She does gain some amazing momentum when jumping off that, and there, I mean, from a human's perspective that would be really difficult. Ah, it's time for some sparring. Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? Okay, come on. Hang on a second, where were you hiding that? Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you gotta fight. Is the option if you want to uh, keep doing this or that you want to stay here or play the game? So we're going to jump and play the game. It's a lovely beginning. A little bit plain, but still, the way they did it. And this little area was quite nice. I love how nice and clean the text is for a clean city. Let's get the birdies away. The pigeons. As it's in Grand Theft Auto 4. Rats. Kind of look a little bit unrealistic that. You know what we were thinking with the slide down the uh, down the crane. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure the birds are real impressed, mate. But once you finish showing off, you think you might concentrate on some actual work? Get in Celeste in position for a handoff. You need to get the delivery to her. She'll be near the communication tower ahead of you. All right, so we got to hurry up to Celeste to. Uh, Gotta drop off. We're not way down. You're taking your sweet old time, so let's get pissed. She's almost at the comms tower, and you ain't. Get moving and give her the bag. Cell will take it from there. Believe it or not, at that beginning part, there's actually two things that he says actually when he says that you're making good time and stuff like that oh thank god that's on your blood wires are fizzing about you faith sounds like a loser headed your way <laughs> news chopper tipped them off 
or is it? Were they shooting? What did you do, Faith? Nothing. They just opened fire. Don't know what the hell's happening. I'll ask around. Get your ass back to base, Faith. It was at this moment that Bateman knew he was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that looked really painful. Don't you dare get my redeem. Too late. Oh, come on, man. Blue flag taken. Bullshit. I'm having fun with your redeemer, man. <laughs> 